Hi, this is Mary Kay's Positivity Podcast. I'm a yoga and meditation teacher and life coach. I'm also author of several self-help books. Today I wanted to talk about rumination. So rumination is what happens to all of us if we dwell on a problem or of a conversation or even emotions, something that we relive over and over, rethinking it all different ways, maybe even sharing with a friend, a parent, and reliving it all over again. And rumination basically causes dysfunctional patterns, and it's really common, especially if you're a worrier. The best answer to stop rumination is to learning how to meditate and be mindful. But sometimes rumination can actually make you overthink and overreact about a problem, which can be destructive. So I like to think about it this way. When you have a problem with a friend and it really upsets you, she said something that you can't forgive. And so you race to your mutual friend and say, can you believe Susie said this? I can't believe it. And you just fall apart and relive the whole saga with your friend. And your friend can't believe it. And she agrees with you. This is horrible. And then you go home and you finish telling your mom all about the problem, maybe your sister, and you relive it all over again. And what that's doing is creating more anxiety. It's not really solution oriented unless someone says, why don't you just call her? But we often will go to sleep, try to forget about it. And then the next day we get there and we see her, we want to be angry. We want to avoid her maybe. And we might even share it with another friend to justify your actions or your response to it. And then when we get home, our mom says, well, did you talk to her today? Like what happened today? And that starts kicking in the anxiety all over again. So we think we're actually helping our kids as parents, but we're actually feeding into the problem and just continuing this destructive cycle of rumination. So the best way to eliminate rumination is to practice meditation. So every time you want to have that negative self-talk about the situation, just close your eyes and focus on the breath. And this will help you let go of evaluative thinking and judgments. And it'll help you approach your life with a curious friendliness instead of this fight or flight mode where we need to find out what's wrong, who said what, and, and create this cycle of anger. Mindfulness and meditation allow you to just be without judgment. And it's that stillness in your mind that allows you to clear the negative thought patterns and emotions, which makes the way for positive thinking. Because we really are what we think. So we're going to attract everything we think. So if we keep saying, I have a problem with Anna, I have a problem with Anna, then every time we run into Anna, we're going to have a problem. But if we change the self-talk and say, oh, I really like how Anna is friendly with everyone, or just find one thing that you can focus on that you do like about her, then the next time you see her, she's going to sense that energy about you, that you see this positive in her, and it will open yourself up to new friendships and opportunities. So now let's have a short meditation. Sit in a quiet space. Rest your back against a wall, or you can do this lying down. And just close your eyes. Inhale and count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for six. Exhale for seven. Inhale for six. Exhale for seven. Relax the muscles in your face. Unclench your teeth. Relax your jaw. Your brow relaxes. The space between your eyebrows just softens. And become aware of any sounds you can hear in this moment. You can focus on distant sounds, 
Just let your sense of hearing radiate. Move your attention from sound to sound without opening your eyes. And just visualize the walls of the room, the ceiling, the floor, the position of your body. And I'm going to mention really calming images. So you're just going to float from one image to the next. Ocean waves. A long dirt road stretching toward the horizon. A beach with white sand. Birds singing in a nest. The sound of children laughing. An owl sitting on a branch. Blue sky, a large acacia tree, horses enclosed in a corral, sunset, an old front porch with a swing. snow-capped mountains, a crackling fire, white dove, a burning, flickering candle, white, puffy clouds floating across the sky, the sounds of crickets, a double rainbow, a pile of puppies sleeping, a meadow of flowers, a hammock, Storm clouds, lush green grass over hills, a crystal clear lake, a red canoe floating on a lake, a bridge over a stream. A woodpecker. A field of sheep. A flock of birds in the sky. Your breath is calm. Your body is relaxed. Your mind is clear. Slowly start to bring awareness back into your body. Wiggle your toes and your fingers. And have the best day. Be sure to subscribe to Mary Kay's Positivity Podcast. And I hope you'll join us again soon. Namaste.